Drivers in Derby will not be charged to enter the city under plans to improve air quality. For the first time, the City Council has ruled out a London-style congestion charge as part of its commitment to create a clean air zone by the year 2020. Well, Derby and Nottingham are among five English cities the government has told have to do more to tackle pollution. Our correspondent Peter Bean reports. We all want cleaner air to breathe, but at what price? The government has told Derby it needs to clean up its act because its air pollution exceeds legal limits. One option could be to charge high emission vehicles to drive into the city centre. But today, for the first time, the City Council ruled that out. It's all OK punishing everybody, but what are we trying to do here? We want a cleaner air zone. We want to make sure we have a healthier lifestyle and we'll do whatever it takes. So as far as we're concerned, at this moment in time, Derby City Council has got no intention of charging people. Like Derby, Nottingham is also under government orders to create a so-called clean air zone by 2020. But unlike Derby, Nottingham is considering going down the charging route, though not for cars. For companies who do their business by road, the clock is ticking. If their fleet doesn't meet the most stringent targets on emissions, it could prove costly. This vehicle hire firm in Derby just wants to know where it's heading. The nightmare scenario for us, obviously, would be a lack of consistency. The, the nightmare would be you could use a vehicle of one emission standard, uh, OK, and, and be legal in one town and then be completely illegal and therefore chargeable in another one. But it's a problem that affects everybody. Today, some of Britain's biggest companies met with Derby City Council to hear more about its plans. It could potentially hit us big time, yes, in some of the cities. So one of the things we're asking for as a national company is some clear guidelines, some national guidelines as well that help us move from city to city. Nottingham City Council says it's looking at how a clean air zone could work in practice and studying various options. There'll be a full public consultation, it says, before it submits its plans to the government in September. On one thing, the politicians and businesses all seem agreed. The need to act is urgent, with 40,000 premature deaths linked to air pollution in the UK every year. Peter Bean, ITV News, Derby.